Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video of Review Ravivar. I know the setup is different, I know the lighting is different because I'm filming from Goa. I'm in Goa with my family for the weekend. I'm going to be back in a few days and there's a vlog coming up as well. Anyway, so today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions using Blue Heavens Cosmetics. They recently sent me a PR kit which is called this Survival Kit. And because they've given me everything that I would need to do my makeup, I was like, you know, this is the right opportunity to actually do a full face of first impressions. I haven't done that in a while as well as usual i'm going to be trying out all these products and in the end i will tell you if it's worth it or not now without wasting any more time let's begin before we begin don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you can be a part of my sims to squad and with that let's begin okay so the kit is quite heavy it's a big box so you have all these products in this box so i'm going to just one by one start using these products and give you guys my review about them there is no moisturizer in this box so i'm going to use my moisturizer um which is this biotique uh bio beach uh, moisturizer i love love biotech moisturizers by the way guys i think i've told that before as well work really well with my skin they're not too heavy and they're not too um you know lightweight as well i mean i look swollen it's so visible on my face i look <gasps> swollen <laughs> Now in the survival kit we have a primer which is called uh, the makeup perfect base studio perfection primer let's see the consistency wow so this is a silicone based primer it it spreads really well and i can feel that it's giving me that really nice smooth even finish but i feel that it's kind of oily like it's making my skin really oily i can feel the oil or maybe it's because of the moisturizer i don't know because even the biotech moisturizer is kind of very very um, you know moisturizing so i think it's kind of a, a bad combination to use biotech and then this primer so i'm going to test a little on my hand and see if it's the primer or if it's the moisturizer it feels okay on my hand it doesn't feel as oily it is extremely extremely greasy on my face right now because of the moisturizer so biotech and this primer bad combination so i'm going to just wipe off the excess because i can feel it's a little extra right now So now for my base today they have sent me a foundation um now i did not give them any shade but i think they just randomly sent me their foundation i have no idea how many shades they have in this uh collection it's called the florina silky smooth foundation i think this foundation is quite close to my shade let's test it hello okay so it refuses to come out i have no other way but to open it up take a little on the back of my hand so it's got a very whipped um you know consistency it's kind of very fluffy i'll apply this foundation directly using my beauty blender and see the finish okay so i think i'm having a hard time blending this foundation out cuz it doesn't really spread that well once you apply it it will stick there so blending is quite difficult with this foundation i would say and it's a very sheer to medium coverage foundation so you need to build it up with a few layers it's like stuck it's dried out already my god blending this foundation is such a task it doesn't move i think it's looking okay on camera so you guys wouldn't be able to tell foundation has literally dried on some parts of my face and it is not moving at all some foundation still left on my hand and i just put my blender in and this is what happened this is the kind of patchiness that's happening on my face right now which you guys are not able to see we just check the price of this foundation okay so it retails for 175 rupees only um that's pretty cheap i would say i think that's the cheapest foundation i've tried is they don't have any brow product in the survival kit i'm going to be using my benefit cup brow number 5 and i'm going to just fill in and shape my brows right so because they don't have a concealer in the survival kit i am going to be using my la girl pro conceal concealer um that's in the shade pure beige in my concealer is going to have a lot more coverage than this foundation I look awake. For my setting powder, I have this compact that they sent me. Um so I'm going to be using this as my setting powder. I like the yellow. I really like the yellow. So I'm going to be using the same puff that it came with and I'm going to just start dabbing it on my face. Okay. I don't know how to describe it, but it has a very strong perfume kind of a fragrance. Okay, so I think I've taken a lot of this. I need to just Okay, 
So my face has mattified to some other level right now. And because my face is super matte right now, I think you guys can also see the patchiness that's happening. I think I'm kind of okay with the compact powder, um, even though it has mattified my face a little too much, but that's okay. I think I should have used a little less product, especially for 150 rupees. I don't think it's a bad product. They don't have any blush, bronzer or highlighter in this kit. So I think I'm going to have to use all of that of my own. This is my makeup kit, by the way. <laughs> um, this is something that I carry everywhere with me. Because it's so easy and convenient, you know, I have all my necessities inside this little pouch and I just, you know, throw it in my bag and I carry it wherever I go. And I don't have a blush here. I have my Benetint but I don't think it's gonna work with this powdery texture. It's just gonna, you know, mix with the powder and it's gonna become something else. I'm not even gonna try that. So they've given me this eyeshadow palette which is called the Signature Vibrant Eyeshadow Palette. And it has this pink shade right here which I can use as my blush today. I'm just taking this big fluffy brush and I'm gonna just take a little bit of this pink eyeshadow. I think I'm going to test it on my hand first because I don't want to mess up my base even more. I think this is good. I just want to stick to as many products I can use from the Blue Heavens kit. I don't want to use all of my products. So I'm going to skip um, the bronzer and highlighter all together. And with that, I'm going to move on with my eyeshadow. I think I'm just going to go in for a black smoky because that's the safest right here. I was expecting a lot of fallout which hasn't happened yet we're gonna see as we go it is definitely slightly patchy like the color does not spread evenly I would say but having said that the pigmentation is not bad all right so next we have a kajal and then we also have a felt tip eyeliner so I'm gonna start by using the kajal Kajal looks okay to me, um, it's pigmented, like it spreads evenly and everything. So that was it about the Kajal and now I'm going to use the felt tip eyeliner. It's called the Design and Line Sketch Eyeliner. Okay guys, this is not bad at all. Love, love, love this felt tip eyeliner guys. This is so good, you have to try it out. Oh my god. Uh, it retails for 225 rupees which is definitely not bad because felt tip liners are expensive and this one is actually good quality and so we have two lipsticks with us um, it's called non-transfer blue heaven lipstick uh, and the shade that I'm gonna go in for is dark chocolate 715 the other shade that I have is called smoked violet I'm gonna swatch both of them for you guys um, and the shade is actually a little too dark for the kind of makeup that I have on me but we're gonna have to go with it So it says that it's non-transfer lipstick, so we're just going to test if it's non-transfer or what. Hmm. It is non-transfer. I have a non-transfer bullet lipstick and this one retails for 300 rupees. This is the other lipstick. Um, it's a very nice berry color. And to finish off the makeup, I have this makeup fixer that they sent me in the PR kit. And this retails for 300 rupees. It is actually quite decent for a makeup fixer uh, because you get such a big bottle for 300 rupees. But it doesn't smell nice. This is the finished look guys. Now, um, I wouldn't say that I loved all of the products that I got in the kit. There are a few products in this kit that I would recommend you guys, but not all of it. Um, for example, the felt tip liner. I absolutely, absolutely loved it. Yeah, with that, it's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. That, it's a wrap for now. I will see you in my next video. Bye!